in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to create an application wide state and that application wide state we are going to pass to our store so what i want is let's go to vs code currently in our application we have created two state counter state in the counter component and coses state in the coses component now here if you see to this store we are passing an object where we are giving a name for the state and then we are mapping a reducer to that state so here we have counter state map to counter reducer and here we have coses state which is mapped to coses reducer now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an object like this so for that what i'm going to do is in the app folder i am going to create a new folder and i'll call it as store and inside this store folder i am going to create a new file and i am going to call it as app.state.ts inside this let me go ahead and let me create a variable i'll call it as app store okay or let me call it as app reducer and to this i'm going to assign an object and in that object i'm going to have a counter property so this will be the name of the state and to that i'm going to map this state to a reducer now which reducer do i want to map it to i want to map it to counter reducer and to use this counter reducer we also need to import it in this file in the same way i am also going to create another state called coses and this state i am going to map to coses reducer and to use this coses reducer we need to import it from this file okay so this object if you see it is similar or it is same as this object so now i can pass this object to this for root method right for that what i will have to do is i'll have to export this reducer basically i will have to export this object now what i will also do is i will create an interface i'll call it as app state and inside this i'm going to specify a property called counter and this counter it is going to be of type counter state and to use this counter state we need to import it from this file and in the same way i'm going to have courses so basically i want to have a property like this and this courses is going to be of type courses state and to use this courses state we also need to import it from this courses.state file now we will use this interface in a bit but since i am exporting this app reducer so basically this object from here now let me go ahead and let me import it in this app module.ts file and let's use it so now instead of passing this object here i am going to pass app reducer and to use this app reducer we also need to import it from app state and this is it if i save the changes let's go to the terminal to check if we have any errors we do not have any error let's go to our application and here let me go ahead and let me open developer tool and there let's go to this redux tool and now if we have a look at our state now you will see that in there we have two state counter with counter property set to zero and toggle property set to false and we have courses state where we have this courses property which is assigned with an empty object so this is the state we have created for our store so you see this state which has been passed to the store it is a combination of counter state and the courses state that means this app reducer it is storing an object and which object it is storing this object okay now let's quickly also test the functionality of the application to check if everything is working as expected so you see increment is working decrement is working reset is working this toggle is working if i add let's say 30 here this 30 should be added to the current value of the counter so 30 has been added and now the current value is 30 so all the functionality inside this counter component is working as expected but now what we have is we have a new state a new store where we have the counter state and we have the courses state so this app reducer is storing all the states of our application currently we have only two state counter state and courses state so this app reducer is storing 
both those states and we are passing this app reducer this object as our final state to this for root method so i hope everything is clear here now this interface which we have created we have created it because wherever we want to inject an instance of this store there we also need to specify the type of data that store is going to emit so here i am going to export this interface from here okay and now if we go to the counter component there let's go to counter value component here you see when we are injecting a store we are specifying a type for that and earlier we only had one state so that's why we are passing an object where we are specifying the state name and the type of that state but now what we can do is now we have two states for the state object which we are passing to the store so here i can go ahead and i can also specify you know courses like this and then i can specify the type for that and what is the type for this courses it is courses state right but instead of doing that we are already creating an interface like this which we are calling as app state so here i am going to specify the type as app state and to use this app state we are going to import this interface from this app state.ts file so from here we are exporting an interface app state which has the similar structure of our store state so that i am exporting and we are using it as the type which we need to specify for this store and now you see it is a little bit cleaner and more understandable same thing we are also injecting an instance of the store in custom input component so there also i am going to specify the type as app state let's import it and let's pass it to this store let's save the changes and in the counter button also we are injecting an instance of the store so there also i'm going to specify the type for that as app state and to use this app state we are going to import it all right with this let's save the changes let's quickly go to our application let me close this developer console and let's check the functionality so the functionality is working toggle is also working and if i add 30 and i click on this increment by button then that is also getting added to the counter so here let me close these files so here what we have done we have created a state object which is going to store all the states of our application and we are mapping it to the respective reducer and then we are passing it to this for root method of store module then we have also created an interface which defines the type of data the store is going to emit and we are using this interface everywhere where we are injecting the store instance i hope this is clear so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day